Last time on My Cody Report. We're three guys who work for international YouTube star My Cody. <laughs> he surpassed away, and our friend Jake has a little bit of a problem. The blood's on my hands! <laughs> my Cody Report. I'm playing more Fallout. Yeah, man. Like, what are raiders? Uh, they are the the Lost Ark. <laughs> There's different raiders, I think. Okay. But the the thing I th the thing is like, how do they get new members if they just shoot at everybody? They've been around for two hundred years. How are they still even? I think? would love to answer you, but what the hell is that? Come on, Jake. Jake. It's getting worse every day with this guy. Is this like a meta pod cosplay? What are you doing? Come on. Yes. What are you Just doing? Get him out of there. What is this stench? Oh, what the? Jake. Jake, what the? We don't allow those in the workplace. Dude, somebody's going to see you with those. Dude, Jesus. I mean, collecting the... bottle caps. <laughs> How much is this like a clown thing? I love that That's clown it. thing, but this is not so this good. This is not a funny clown you thing. You guys got me. What else are you hiding, bro? Buddy. Oh. Wake up. You all right? You drank a lot last night. How does one person even drink this much? Oh, Did you spend the night in your cubicle? Yeah, me and Cody were playing the Fallout 4 drinking game. <laughs> Is this a pit boy? Right? You were drinking and gaming last night with Cody? Yeah. Cody Cody yeah. from the, art, the show, Co yeah. my Cody report? We've been getting along. Isn't <laughs> that right, Cody? What? Cody's in the water. We've been playing Fallout 4. Have you guys been playing Fallout 4? There is still little to no limitation on the amount of content players will encounter, and as a post-apocalyptic Massachusetts pulls you in deeper, you will likely find yourselves devoting 100 plus hours to the wasteland. Vats is back and will always be the number one way to exterminate radiated f***ers, but the first person shooter aspect has been greatly improved and allows you to stay in the fight after stamina is depleted. New features, like modding out weapons and armors, add another level to Bethesda's patent personalization technology. Bugs are bad, and we ain't talking about those rad roaches, <laughs> but in all seriousness, missing out on dialogue, game crashes, having to reload your game to complete objectives, and even not being able to exit the vault at the start should not go unpunished. It's to be expected at this point, but truly takes away from the game's otherwise immersive atmosphere, and for that, we do not thank you. It's hard to imagine these problems were not encountered in playtesting, and players may feel like they're still playing an early beta of the game. These glitches are f***ed up, though. The let's, glitches are off. They're let's, really f***ed up. It's yeah, unprecedented. Yeah. I couldn't even uh, play the first mission because uh, Mr. Handy just disappeared on me, and I couldn't find him. Can I, I remember that. Him? Yeah. Yeah, it's like, why is that acceptable? Let's say you took home a Blu-ray or a digital video disc from your local Blockbuster, Library. pop it in, you're watching Born Supremacy and his guns are gone in a scene. That would be just preferable. Not in the movie. That would be preferable. Yeah. <laughs> if he was just. <laughs> <laughs> there have been lots of times where the gun is not in my hand in first person. Yeah. So I'm just spitting out bullets. They're yeah. just coming out of my screen. Just no gun. Just. <laughs> if, if you go to third person, they're coming out of your nipples. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. It's like a... So as I just pressed the wrong button, it went to nipple to fire. Yeah, you. you... Automatic. Single burst shot, fire. burst, <laughs> nipple. nipple. Click in R3 and press R2, nipples, shots. <laughs> it's, it's in the Prima Guide. Shizuo, story. <laughs> the story is okay. You track down your stolen baby, choices are chosen, twists are twist. But here's what's whack about role-playing with this story. You want to be a badass brute who brings justice to raiders? Why aren't you tracking down your son, you evil piece of shit? You want to be a cool-ass wanderer who helps the denizens of the wastes flourish? Why don't you go find your baby, you ignorant f***? Going into this huge open world and doing anything but searching for your kidnapped child makes your character, at best, random nonsense and, at worst, pure evil. But I digress. The story has some neat elements, I found the Institute to be a fascinating mystery, and the world was peppered with side stories that are definitely worth the time. Yeah, I don't know, the story was pretty cool, but I mean, I just want to hear what Cody thinks about the box art. Aesthetics. 
Let's play make-believe for a minute. Let's say that Fallout 4's frame rate didn't drop below 20 frames per second in certain spots. Let's say that Fallout 4 didn't have horrendous bugs that... Ugh, what the f*** is that? Let's say Fallout 4 didn't have these glaring technical flaws. The visuals still aren't super compelling. I mean, there are still moments where some inventive design shows through, but the graphical impact of a wasteland in runes is lessened by games that came before it. And the same goes for the sound design. Let's pretend the dialogue wasn't bugging out and overlapping itself and generally glitching out of existence. Even then, the acting ranges from passable to bad. With that being said, I really enjoyed the diverse soundtrack, and my grandma probably would too. It's got some oldies but goodies that are the perfect background music to get some headshots, you know what I'm saying, gamers? Why does Bethesda keep doing the things where anytime you're within 10 feet of somebody, they talk to you about their life or something that's happened? Even if they talk to you about something you did, it's weird. Never at a single point in my life have I been walking past somebody and they just say, Huh, it's, it's a little tough around here, but I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> yeah. Sir. Don't even look them in the eye. They're just kind of staring off in the distance. The Raiders got my town. They're just <laughs> f***ing drifting away <laughs> on like a set path. I wish games would acknowledge when you walk away from them when they're doing those dialogues. That would make it too. totally... Hey, where are you going? Yeah. yeah. Try walking right. past me. Oh, Raiders attacks around here have been pretty... Okay, f What? Why do you do that? <laughs> All right. There's a lot to like about the game. I think the systems are cool with the crafting and the settlement building works for the most part. I feel like they just kind of lacked creativity and there wasn't enough risks being taken. Yeah. So I would probably honestly give it just an eight. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good game. Yeah, Would you say it's that? It's a good game. The it's beta game. is great. I love the beta the that beta I'm playing right now. That I paid sixty dollars. That I paid sixty dollars <laughs> for. I think we need to take the moral high ground here and offset the high scores it's been getting that haven't been giving a shit for how many bugs are in it. Mm, yeah. Are we okay with just giving it a zeros? Zero. I, I think we all have to give it a zero. Cody. Yo, yo, code, code blue. What you think? P.U. This game stinks. P.U. Cody's in the water. He has not been listening to one word I said. My Cody report. We've been drinking Cody. Gee, I'm gonna f***ing vomit. I'm gonna piggy. You guys are probably gonna start seeing some crazy stuff in. Nine. Eight. Ha <laughs> <laughs>